Hello, I'm the Technical Sales Director of Antrica. My name is Les Litwin. I just wanted to show you this device here in the middle, the ANT1776ZB, with four cameras connected. So the first one on the left here is an HDMI input. Then we have a USB-C input. Then we have a standard Ethernet IP camera, followed by a standard composite video or thermal camera. We can actually connect a fifth camera to this, which is a Sony zoom block, but this is not shown in the video at the moment. So anyway, let's see how we can encode four cameras with the ANT1776ZB. Okay, so let's look at the uh, web interface for the 1776ZB. And as I said, we're going to show you how we encode and stream four different cameras. So as you can see in the bottom left, you've got the four cameras I described earlier. Uh, let's start on the info page. So this is a useful page. Let me just move that out of the way. Um, this tells us quite a lot of information about the, uh, the software, the firmware version, the MAC address and so on. But the more important thing is it actually shows us uh, which cameras are connected. So here you can see the first one in the list is connected to CSI1, which those of you who are familiar with MIPI is a MIPI interface, so that's actually a composite video. Then we have two USB interfaces, and one of them is using an HDMI to USB-C converter. The other one is using a straightforward USB uh, network camera. Then we have this thing called Ethernet, which is actually our transcoder setting. So this is where you can send in an IP camera stream in RTSP, for example, then re-encode it as an MPEG TS stream or actually an RTSP stream. So that's the info page. The settings page is quite useful because here we have the two MIPI interfaces, CSI 1 and 0, and we can, if we had a Sony zoom block, we would connect it to CSI 0 and we would connect the analog to CSI 1 on this particular camera. There are other options. And then the other modes are basically, so this is the composite video, as you can see, the analog. And then we have two additional USB interfaces. So we have two MIPI interfaces, two USB-C interfaces, and a transcode interface. And then we also support some other cameras like Next Vision. So you can actually set up Next Vision cameras if you wish. Uh, and then when you're using this as a decoder, you've got uh, display drivers. So this is actually connected to a monitor already. So you can see what uh, what resolutions it supports. So that's the basic settings page. So if we go to the home page, we these are the only two things I'm going to show you. Output streaming are the four muxes. There are actually a total of eight. So we could have eight different streams set up. Um, I've chosen four here in this little box up here. And mux one is connected to the USB zero, the HDMI camera. The MUX2 is connected to USB 1, which is the webcam. And then we have the MUX3 is connected to the composite video. I'm just going to make this slightly longer so you can see it. And then MUX4 is our transcoder. So here you can see we're putting in an RTSP stream from an IP camera and we're sending it out as an MPEG TS on a unicast IP, which is the IP of my computer, plus a unique port. So those are the four cameras. And as you, let me move this back so it's out of the way. And here you can see, if I wiggle my arms, if I jump up really high, you can see all four cameras are streaming. And this is basically how we encode four different cameras with the 1776. We can do this with another family called the, the 1776 Nano or the basic product. Um, this has replaceable modules, which allows you to choose which interfaces you uh, want to encode. But the ZB is extremely powerful, and extremely uh, universal in terms of which cameras it can support, thermal, non-thermal, zoom, etc. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. There will be more videos being sent out in the near future. Thanks very much.